Here's a video of me when I was nine years old. The first iPhone I ever got was an iPhone 4. Ever since then, I've been using Android because I was like, Android's better. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Just so you guys know that I am not lying, Pacific Blue, but on the camera, it looks gray. Just to make sure swiping left and right means it's a real iPhone. One of the main things I actually got this phone for was it has a LiDAR sensor. LiDAR sensors are in cars like Tesla's and other self-driving cars just to map an area surrounding it by measuring distances of objects. This is the LiDAR sensor right there, that kind of black dot. Precise placements of AR objects helps with photo and video. Video. It also works in the dark. So the LiDAR sensor is also on uh, the new iPad and this guy's using an infrared camera. So there's some apps here that allow you to use the LiDAR sensor to scan objects and make 3D images of objects. Wow, you can see my setup. Oh, no way. Oh, that's cringe. I tried scanning the bird. That didn't work out. So Ricky scanned me here. And there's a bunch of different apps you can use for this stuff. Bird's like screaming on my shoulder right there. <laughs> this is a really fucked one. So there's just the computer. This is my first Ricky one. <laughs> wow, Ricky with no shirt. I didn't complete the back of him. You can zoom in and all that shit. And the cool thing about this, do the AR view. And now normally with AR stuff on phones, it can get really jittery. So right now it's using the LiDAR sensors to essentially scan the environment that I'm currently in and place this object really well. Look how smooth that shit is. Like it's not even fucking, it's barely moving. So it's supposed to be able to tell the difference between like my hand and, and the object. So I can go like this. Like that's pretty cool. If I close my fingers, it goes away. The fact that I can go like this and move my hand over the actual thing is pretty insane. Because normally you'd go like this and it would would pop up on your hand or something like that. Oh, I wasn't looking at anything bad. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna do some exercising. I've been gaining a lot of weight recently. I gotta do this, removes all the weight. I don't even think I completed it. I think I stopped halfway through. This is the shitty layout of my room. Look at the desk set up. Wow, it's so broken. So you click record. You have to make sure that all of the stuff is gone. So this is just a really quick scan. The hat came out well. I mean, it's not like the most perfect thing ever because it's like very early versions of it. I hope Apple keeps going with it. Really cool. Nerds. This can do night vision. It's not your typical normal night vision so essentially it uses the lidar scanner to scan the environment and you can see all around you you can also turn it to the front camera so the front camera doesn't have lidar but the front camera is using the face id or face detection which if you had an, an, an infrared camera you'd see dots like all over my face which this one seems to be a little bit more precise but let's take it into an actual room here you can't see anything you can kind of see the underneath of the door all right so here's me this is a completely dark room as you could like see originally it's ricky's bathroom you can see the painting there you can see the toilet. The front camera is way more detailed. I, I guess it's just because maybe there's more fine detail because it's trying to do face ID. Like I can even see myself in the mirror like holding the camera. That's insane. It's like a splinter cell when he's in the splinter cell area and he's just splinter selling. You can change the color. So this is the splinter cell color. This is kind of the, the scary red color. And then this is kind of the heat. Although unfortunately this isn't actually a heat sensor. This is like complete darkness and I can basically walk around and see everything around me. I can see this, I can see the camera in my hand, and this is all with the sensor. What would be a good use for like being able to see in the dark like that? Maybe you're going into like an abandoned house or an abandoned like scary place where there's crackheads and stuff like that, the three titted ghosts. What you do is you use your iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max and you use LiDAR and you just go around and be like, hey, there's one more app here. Ricky Berwick showed me this app. It's called In3D. You can do a full body scan of yourself. Once you get it, you can do like search specific animations through the app. Turn around 360 degrees. Everybody be flaming about. I got a Lamborghini in my garage. I may or may not have a four-wheeler within the next week. Apparently it's gonna take six minutes. So what we do here, we go play Nico Par with John. Okay, so I was able to bring up my old avatar. First of all, my feet are black. I think it's because my feet were actually cut off originally. I don't know what happened to this hand. I wore a hat. My hair must have been sticking out a lot. You can do shit like this, like kick, sweep, fall. You can make... You can make your character into a GTA 5 character for $13. Best one is you can do VR chat. Look at that. It's not even in VR. That's the funny part. What world is that with these ducks? You can either put yourself in VR chat, Second Life, or GTA 5. I've been wanting to do VR chat uh, videos because I've been using Ricky's old HTC Vive. I want myself in VR chat and I want to be able to hold like a camera prop so I can be like camera guy or whatever. Pretty detailed. So lighting does help. It does a pretty good job. So unfortunately, where your fists are, it replaces those with generic hands. That's probably the best I'll get. You ever want to see some cringe? Hey, how's it going? So yeah, that's LiDAR Detection 101 for you. Hair in my mouth. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.